today's first look, we have a very special car, 1968 Shelby GT500 Fastback, lot number 1397. Why is this so special? This is a pre-production prototype car. It has a lot of special features on it. Mike McCullough, our Director of Consignment, will talk about a lot of the unique parts on this car. I'm going to tell you a little bit about something I know a few things about, the Connelly fuel injection on here. It's the same as was on the Green Hornet. Green Hornet was the first car to get Connelly fuel injection. This is one of also the early, early cars. It's a very special car, the only other running Conleg car and the only Fastback right now that has been made running. Mike, you want to tell us about some of the other unique items that are on this early production car? Absolutely. And what an honor it is for Barrett Jackson to be able to offer a car like this at auction for sale. <clears throat> so the car started life as a 1968 GT500 in sunlit gold with a black deluxe interior. Uh, it started life like all other GT500s. They were powered by the 428 police interceptor motor that was carried over from the 1967 model. However, this car got a little special treatment whenever it got tagged as an engineering test car. Like Craig mentioned, it, it has a Conelic fuel injection system set up on it. It also was a test bed for the 428 Cobra Jet, which would be the later uh, motor that came out in the, in the GT500 KRs. A very special feature here, this car is believed to be the first car to receive the cold air plenum on the underside of the hood that was standard for the 1968 GT500KR. One thing that you'll notice difference with this one versus a standard production is this has the rough horsehair uh, texture to it, showing it that it is the way they use it when they were just trying and testing things out. Other early pre-production features and, and test features on this car is the fiberglass on the car. The fiberglass is the early pre-production uh, units that they that they use when they were trying to decide how this was all going to look and fit and, and go. Another really interesting thing on this car, if you look at it, is all 68 GT500s would have the raised white letter Goodyear uh, Speedway tire. This car has what you would see on the 68 KRs and the 6970. It's the black sidewall E7015 Goodyear. So this car was a test bed for the tires as well. It was also a test bed for the special sound deadener. So Shelby and Ford primarily were trying to figure out how to keep sound down inside the cabin. So that was one of the things they tested, which they would later put into production in the 69s. Um, some of the other things it also has a 69 uh, Shelby shocks and, and items like that. And tail lights. And, and tail lights as well. So phenomenal job. Uh, Pete Disher, who is the utmost forefront uh, historian and 68 Shelby expert, was the one who was involved primarily in the restoration, overseeing, uh, just a phenomenal job and what an incredible car for Barrett Jackson to be able to offer at, at auction. It's an incredible car. It is. It has a great history to it. So through doing all the research to unearth all the history for the Green Hornet and Little Red, which is coming up in two documentaries that we'll be talking about it. This car also, Pete Disher's restoration, it won a gold award at the Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals. It is a award-winning car. Now there's two documentaries that will be coming out on our YouTube channel but also airing March 18th on FYI and March 21st on the History Channel and again on our YouTube. But here is the inventory sheet and this is from November 30th, 1968. And on here you see VIN number 101 fuel injection prototype and the price. Well, the inventory sheet was because they were going to sell the cars. This car actually got sold in the same group of six cars in Littleton, Colorado as Little Red did. So it has a tie with the fuel injection to the Green Hornet being one of the first cars after the Hornet to get fuel injection. The Hornet actually has the first experimental 428. This is one as they were trying to make them a production but putting in in one of the early cars. So as all these prototypes were built, they're all a little bit unique as to everything they were testing. They'd figure one thing out, they put it in, and then they start working on other things. It's selling at no reserve at the Scottsdale March auction. If you love Shelby's, it's a piece of history coming to you at no reserve.